Hi, I'm Chris and Griego with Edwards Instrument Company, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get your valves into alignment. Um, it can be a rotor, Thayer, um, and that's it because they're the only good valves on the market because that's all we make. Okay, no, in all seriousness, um, most rotors, any of them, I think even the Hagmans, they all have stop plates. Uh, I think the true board's internal. Uh, but if the, if the rubber bumpers get degraded, or if they're too big, your port can get out of alignment. So that's what I'm gonna address here today. I have a G-flat valve off of base, and I'm gonna show you on that. Okay, let's see if we can get this. I've taken this apart, and I'm shining a light, and you see that silver ring in there? Let me get that removed. And that's out of alignment. If I push on it, now it's in alignment. So the difference is it's closed. If you look in there, right there, you see the big ring. But as I push on it against the bumper, it gets in alignment, which is where you want it to be. You want this to line up with this to be, you don't want this and see that back ring. So all you have to do, a razor, and you figure out which way the bumper is. If you have to add a bumper, you pop the old bumper out, you can glue in a new one, and um, then after it's dried, you take this and you essentially cut back the rubber bumper until the ports line up. You go, go a sliver at a time, don't go too much, because if you go too much, you gotta take it out and put a new one in. It's kind of a drag. And you have to do it on both sides, and when they both line up, um, you have to take into how you have to take into consideration how hard you pull your triggers. So if you're real heavy-handed and really push hard, you want to um, you want it to be a little bit out of alignment until you get the right amount of pressure, and then it locks it in. Um, we use two different densities of bumpers. We use a hard and a soft. Uh, the hard is for the engaged position, and then when it returns, because when it returns, it only has a spring holding it in place. Uh, we use a soft to keep it quiet. So something to think about um, on your. Um, rotor or your axial flow valve because I'm sure that's the only valves that are out there that are watching this video right now right have a great day uh, for Edwards Instrument Company thanks for watching